Hey, what's up, everybody? D Amazing here, back at it, bringing you reviews. And this time it was the Figma Izuku Meteora from My Hero Academia. And let's get started. First and foremost, I want to start by saying I was very impressed with this figure straight out of the box. I didn't expect it to be as good as I thought it was going to be, but it came out even better. Especially because uh, for Figmas, I tend to lean towards the I don't like it right out the box. And just overall, the look of the figure, it's very accurate to the show. It's animated by Studio Bones. It stays very good to the design. I'm enjoying it. It has a little bit of sculpting for the t-shirt and the wear. And the smooth but poseable joint thing definitely works here in the case of this Figma. I'm really excited. But first and foremost, I'm going to wiggle the head out. I'm going to take the mask off so you can see what's going on. And actually, he looks really good with and without the mask, so you can see here. <clears throat> first and foremost, I'm going to jump into articulation. Usually with a Figma, you don't get the bicep swivel. But you actually have it on this figure. You can rotate the arm all the way around. There's no issues whatsoever. There's lower bicep swivel here at the, the forearm. And it comes up about this far. So even though it's not double jointed, you still get a ton of range that the figure can go through. And even just rotating in different ways. And they've done a good job of making it match. Because look, you can even do stuff like this. Where most of the time I have trouble with doing that on most figmas. As far as the head articulation... Even without the mask sitting at the neck, the head articulation goes up, down, left, and right. It's just a huge range and motion change, especially from what I'm used to with Figma. And it's just giving me a, a breath of fresh air with this figure. Now, as far as ab crunch or ab articulation, it goes pretty far for a Figma. And it gets about this far in. Goes pretty far back. The leg articulation, it doesn't go really high, but it can rotate all the way up. You can do sitting poses. You can do sitting down poses on the floor. There's tons of stuff that you can get with it. Also, you can rotate here at the lower thigh. So you can rotate it back and forth. There's ankle pivot. And it goes all the way up forward, all the way back. And you can kind of rotate left and right, which is something I'm really looking forward to because what happens is you get a ton of poses that, again, before I thought with a Figma, I just wouldn't be able to do. And now I'm really sort of nailing it. So I'm very, very, very happy with this. Very happy. <clears throat> I'm going to do a little bit of posing now. So as far as with Deku, oh, and legs go about this far up. Sorry about that. But I'm really happy because as far as posing him, I have had a blast. And I mean it. Um, I'm just having a really good time. Just really posing him and having fun. So what really got me with this was the fact that... Uh, it's probably the smoothest, most posable Figma I've seen since Femto. And before Femto, uh, there's very few far in between that I've been really, really excited for and really, really enjoyed. This is the complete exception. It's just really dope in every fashion. I'm really loving my hero, so it's really nice to get a Figma that can live up to its own hype. And as far as accessories goes, that's where he's lacking. I didn't get the bonus one, so I don't have the uh, origin mask. But as far as the heads go... You get his concerned and worried head, which looks really good even on him. Going to hopefully do some pictures to give it some justice. You get the scared and worried face. Then you get the serious smash face, where it's him when he activates his power or he gets serious. It's really good serious face. I'm telling you, man, they sculpted that really, really well. Now, as far as hands go, you get two closed fists. You see one here as well. You also get the infamous finger where he uses his power to pluck it and use force to knock out his opponents, whether it's wind, rumbling the ground, or hitting stuff. It's really cool that they gave this to you. Then you get two open palms. One you see here, one is on the figure. And then you also get two palms that are pretty much open that allow for, I'm going to say, riding a vehicle or holding an object. We don't know what those objects are yet because he doesn't come with anything like that. But in the case being, it's just tons of uh, speculation right now. But I'm assuming if they do more characters, we'll get tons of things that, you know, work with that. Either way, I'm super excited for the figure because, like I said, it can get into poses that I normally wouldn't be able to get with other Figmas. And he's doing it with pretty much no issue. You know what I mean? Like I said, he can't get down all the way with the poseable on the knee. But you can still do plenty of other stuff with it. And I'm just really excited for that. Especially because uh, he wants to be a hero. So you want to be able to do superhero poses. He's definitely nailing that here. 
Like all Figmas, he does come with a stand, so you don't have to worry about whether or not he comes with one. He definitely does come with a stand. I'm going to pose him around for you guys for a bit. Now, as far as in scale with other stuff, we're going to look at him next to other types of figures and see what you guys think of it. I think he's really great for his size, so I'm going to show off to you guys. This is Deku standing up next to a Marvel Legends Abomination Builder figure. As you can see, he's completely off the screen, but in terms of size, if you wanted to do a, a size versus like David and Goliath shot, it definitely works for you. Here he is next to a Marvel Legends custom Nighthawk, where he, you can see that he's pretty small because he's a kid. He's, he's in junior high school, he's supposed to be pretty small. Here he is next to an SH figure that's Kamen Rider Kuga, which is already a small figure, but you can still see that Deku is still tiny compared to him. This is him next to a Mezco Punisher, where you can see again, still tiny compared to it. So as you can see, even compared to other types of figures, he looks great in scale with them. He's looking pretty small, but he's accurate. He looks great compared to his manga and anime counterpart. It's just something I'm really enjoying. If you aren't already watching the show, I advise you do. If you are a big fan of the show, I really think that you should get this figure. And if you want the cute and adorable one, you can go with an Android. But if you wanted a more poseable figure, this is definitely the one to get. As far as I know right now, there's no US release for the figure. So you may have some trouble finding it and it may be pricey. But the figure is hot. The figure is dope. And it definitely gets my blessing on being cool. As usual, guys, I hope you're drinking your water. I hope you're being good. And I hope you do good. Keep your hearts full. Later.